so the ultrasound was done and the query was whether this is a horseshoe kidney and when i scrolled the t2 sagittal no this is coronal sorry t2 coronal images i'm like what this is not horseshoe because i can see the left kidney uh, which obviously is showing gross hydronephrosis and there is here the other moiety and there is no right kidney at the usual location so i will just go ahead and i will put uh, t2 axial so that you will have a better idea and here is t2 axial and you can see there is a gross hydronephrosis on the left side and the right kidney is fused here now why am i saying this is right and left why this is not just uh, big one kidney and this side of the kidney is absent because you can see there is a pelvic uh, system here and it is actually going 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 down and getting into this uh, bladder there is no ureter seal or anything and uh, unfortunately i am not able to see any ureter uh, continuing from the right side moiety no sorry left side moiety uh, i'm sorry about that so from the left side moiety i'm not really seeing any ureter or anything going out now what other things we have we have uh, uh, trophy sequence it doesn't really add anything yeah it doesn't then we have uh, again coronals which we don't want what we have is uh, uh all right let me okay then we have uh, high highly uh, high t2 weighted sequence uh, which we use for mr cp and cialography and it also shows the same thing uh, now what we did here here is uh, we have urography now mr urography is different than ct urography in two aspect that in ct urography you cannot just go on taking uh, as many phases as you want because of the radiation risk while in mr urography you can just uh, take as many as things you want so here for example you can see some amount of contrast in iota but uh, not much so this is basically a non contrast scan you can see the pelvic glacial system of both side is not taking any contrast now you see the another phase here where you can see it's just a small amount of contrast is coming uh, here on the right side moiety uh, which has crossed and fused to the left side and in on the, in the pelvis however there is no contrast on the left side moiety you can see there is no contrast at all now you go to the delayed phase what you basically see here again the left side there is no contrast at all but on the right side you can see the pelvis has filled up with the contrast you go down and you see whether the contrast is in bladder you try to trace ureter but it's uh, not traced so you wonder whether the ureter is obstructed or not and then what we have taken is coronal image and voila in this coronal image you can actually trace this ureter now this ureter was not actually uh, that prominent here this is i think this is that part it is that contrast was not in the ureter at that time but uh, because there is a time lapse between this phase and this coronal image you can see this uh, right side ureter however you cannot see the left side ureter yet so this is this basically proves our point that there are two ureters uh which supposed to be there one on this side and one on that side and uh, if you see the map image you can see ha huh, there is some kind of uh obstruction maybe to the ureter dilatation but these are actually ball loops so you should not really believe on whatever you see on the map uh and that's why urography is important because you are injecting contrast to see exactly where the ureter are because a uh, high t2 weighted sequence is just going to give a uh, good signal to where wherever the water is and sometimes water can be in bowel loops so that's really important to note uh, what more could have been done i uh, if personally i would have taken more phases to see uh, uh, whether this side uh, right side moiety is really functioning and all the contrast is getting washed out uh, and the contrast is in bladder and uh, 
and whether or not left side at all takes any contrast or not other thing i'm curious here is uh, whether a nuclear scan would have been a better option uh, compared to this personally um, i'm on the uh, yeah i'm i'm on the fence about this i i don't know like personally i would have chosen nuclear scan uh, in earlier uh, stages of disease now this is really gross this is like uh, on uh, just on mr euro you can able to say that this left side moiety because of the cortical thinning and all is not functioning but however had this been earlier stage we could have uh, we would have loved to do uh, that study now other my question is maybe this side of kidney is uh, dysplastic since birth maybe some sort of uh, um, spectrum of uh, multicystic dysplastic kidney um, yeah. however those things are associated with uh, uh, sometimes crossed fused ectopia but uh, you should able to see different cysts these are not really looking as individual cyst do they they it, it actually looks as a pelvis it's a uh, continuing with each other uh, had it been just a uh, uh, yeah had it been just multicystic dysplastic kidney it, there wouldn't have been this much dilatation of uh, pelvis and uh, you can see some kind of uh, uh, maybe pelvic uh, ureteric junction is obstructed or something so i think there is either a functional or anatomical obstruction and uh, the spatial resolution of mr is not that much to pick it but uh, i don't think this is multicystic dysplastic kidney this i think this is really a severe hydronephrosis uh, due to some kind of uh, a block and i'm uh, trying to bet that it's likely a primary um, pelvic ureteric uh, junction block uh, or something like that if you guys have any uh, or other differential please let me know if you think there is another way to go about uh, it and other modalities which could have been used i would love to hear it um, whether uh, ultrasound contrast media would have been uh, um, uh, better option in your child well if a creatinine uh, is good then i think you can actually do gadolinium too but now uh there are many studies coming up with the gadolinium uh getting accumulated in bodies and i'm like okay uh, ultrasound contrast makes sense but then how are you going to scan all this dynamically because it's you're just not um, focusing on one part are you uh, you will be focusing on the left moiety and the right moiety at the same time and on the ureters uh, i i guess it makes sense in theory but uh, in the practical application i don't know um, can you use two ultrasound machine with two observer uh, one is focusing on one moiety and other is focusing other moiety hypothetically correct but uh, in a real life scenario i don't know so also let me know about what do you think about that so yeah that was this interesting case i came across today which uh, I, I have seen one cross fused ectopia when i was in my second year of uh, residency and my dear friend and dr ramant kumar had come with a, uh, a patient um, and he was like in the nuclear scan they can figure out only one side kidney whether it's a, a fused kidney whether there is something else going on and we do ultrasound and uh, we see two ureters going on the two uh, yeah. to side and both dilated so it it was kind of like a straight for kids and it was interesting so yeah and it and so this is another case i felt you know let me know what you think about it and uh, why you think uh, any other differential we should entertain so other thing i found uh, is there is a classification system for cross fused ectopia and our case fits in type d i think l type uh, where a kidney is make l kind of shape uh, let me just uh, show you what i really mean all right okay just can can i just yeah got it okay and 
put it like this and make it as a chart till there you go can you see that of course you don't uh, yeah see here this l kind of thing i was talking about so yeah i i guess that's it and uh, what are other types one could be just unilateral like uh, i <laughs> Uh, then one could be sigmoid, okay, uh, facing towards opposite direction, makes sense. Uh, C could be lump, okay, just a lump. Then L, uh, which we have discussed about. Then disc, okay, so it's like a two side medially facing, right. And then unilateral fuse, like one over the another. How is that different from this side? Uh, from the first, yeah. Uh, I guess this one is above and this one is lower i i don't know like i think it's about the ureters uh, like this moiety is going to another moiety which is superior and the here the superior moiety is of that ipsilateral side so that's why unilateral fused are like two cool what is the significant significance of this maybe in surgery surgery maybe communicating with surgeons like telling that what kind of ectopia it is do they require surgery <laughs> no idea but uh, complications rates are high uh, this is a wikipedia page uh, of cross fuse ectopia and um, why did i go on that uh, it's already opened okay so here they, they say the complications just such as nephrolithiasis, infection, hydronephrosis approach 50%. So that's pretty cool. And is there anything else? Uh, does not require any planned treatment. How you are understanding the essentially planning for surgical intervention. All right. So surgical intervention, maybe their blood supply, you need to figure out. Got it. All right. Done then. Uh, prevalence, one in 1,000. Uh, Two is to one male is to female, ninety percent crossed renal ectopia results in a fusion. That I did not know. So you don't really have just a ectopic kidney. You likely have land up with a crossed fused ectopia. Got it. Thank you.